Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. It is another beautiful day here on Funland. We have a lot to do today. It's all about redoing our tiny town today. But before we get started, don't forget to leave a like for the channel. It helps us get shared out to a lot more people. Hit that subscribe button. It helps us to bring content like this to you every day. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss another upload. With that being said, let's go ahead and get today started. All right, we are in the area that we are going to create our newest tiny town in. Our other one was a pretty small platform on the other side of the island. Um, we needed to remove it. Now we're revamping it and redoing it in this locale. This is what I've come up with so far. Just a plain platform. I've put some elevated levels. I think I want to put another elevated platform over here somewhere. But this is what we're working with. This is what we are going to decorate and turn it into something amazing, I can tell. Let's start by just putting up another platform really quickly just kind of like a little l shape right here just to have some more height in between and then we'll get to work cutting out and decorating and making this something really awesome all right i've gone ahead and put up another platform that we can work with and now i want to cut out a little tiny waterfall here in the front so i'm just going to get out my waterscaping tool we're just gonna put a little bit of water because Tiny Town needs a waterfall. There we go. Not too, too big, not too, too small. That's absolutely perfect. All right, so we have our beginnings mapped out. Let's move ourselves up top here. I'm gonna grab my ladder and we can Start decorating the top of this platform. We'll see what we come up with. What I'm thinking is get out my shovel. And I'm thinking some sort of shrubbery right here. Let's just put anything that we have. A red hibiscus. I think that'll look great. And then I'm thinking house. Maybe towards the back a bit instead of completely forward. So let's see if we have room for a dollhouse. We do. I love it. I'm just going to empty out my hands for a sec and flip the house around. And spin. Spin. There you go. And spin. Oh, I love it. That looks so great. I'm going to go ahead and just put down one little patch of dirt just so it has something in the front of the house. I think that looks nice. Beautiful. And then we can go ahead. I'll stay right where I am so that I can make sure I can get down. I'm going to get my shovel back out and put another hedge right here. And I think that'll complete this top one. That's awesome. Beautiful. Perfect. I'm going to empty my hands. And then I have to remember... Do you put the lights on because this is gonna look so pretty at night? I'm gonna go ahead, hop back on my ladder, climb down, and just like that, tiny town is under construction and I love it. All right, let's get to work rounding this off. Just the back corner so it's not so square. Perfect. In the corner there, Poppy. Perfect. And I'm thinking towards the back. I shouldn't say I'm thinking. I know that I want to put a street lamp. I just don't know where I have one. There we go. Place item. Perfect. I'm all I love the lights. I love the look of it. Let's go ahead. I wanna grab my actual shovel in one second, actually. I'm thinking I want to put a house right here as well, but what I've done is I went ahead and I grabbed some record boxes and I DIY'd them so that they have that pretty kind of stone ivy brick thing going on and I think that looks really nice. Nope, don't spin it, Poppy. We're pulling it a little bit. Not 
not pushing. I'd rather this one closer to the front. That's good. Let's go ahead and throw a house on top of that. And then I'm just going to flip it so that the house is in the right direction. Turn it on. Already I think that looks great. And if we have room behind it, I would love to put... If I can find one. I think I have... Not another street lamp. Yes, a plant. Let's see if it'll let me. Perfect. So it kind of gives that illusion of a tree back there. I think that looks so cute. I'm super happy with that. Tiny Town is shaping up. Love it. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of fencing right here as well. I think that would look really nice. Perfect. I love the fencing, so anywhere I can put it, I think it looks so nice. Pulls everything together. All right, let's go up top here and start putting down some housing as well. All right, so now that we're up here, I'd love to put a dollhouse, I think, right in this back corner. Let's get rid of that. I think that looks super cute. Turn that on, adorable. Let's go ahead and put a little path in for this one as well. I think it looks too cute. There we go, and then let's put a little house in this corner, I think. Let's grab one from our pocket. Oh, too cute. I love it. I'm just going to empty out my hands. Spin our house. There. That way it's forward facing. So cute. I think in front of this one over here, I'd love to put one of the pocket campers. If I can find one. I have so many things going on in my pockets right now. There. That looks so cute. I love it. I think over here not jail bars a garden lantern would look really nice to help light it up and then poppy stop taking off on me something is going on with my controller and it's doing its own little thing right now which is not ideal when you're trying to build something let's go ahead and put a hedge over here as well Perfect. I love it. That looks really, really cute. Let's head back down before Poppy takes off without me. I love the way that looks. I'm going to go ahead and do a dirt path, I think, just around this area. I might put flowers in. I may not. I haven't decided yet, but I think that looks nice. I'm going to put fencing up over on the ends here as well. So let's grab some fencing. There we go. That looks really nice. I have a mush lamp. Let's put that here. Super cute. Popping around. Let's put up fencing. Put one back there. Let's put one more right there. Awesome. All right, let's get to work down here a little bit before we continue on the top. I want to put some fencing along the back here. Beautiful. Like that looks really, really nice. And then we will put a house up. There we go. Empty my hands here for a sec. Let's spin our house around. Oh, I think that looks so cute. Now, I don't know if it's going to let me, but I have some tiny trees in my pockets that I'm hoping... Oops, don't hit the house. 
I know it won't let me that close to the corner, but let's see if I move over closer to the house and dig. No, not so close. There. Like that. I might be able to get a little tree. Yes! That's what I was going for, right beside the house. I think that looks so cute. I absolutely love the look of that. Looks just like a little yard. I don't know, I don't think it'll let me do it here. No, I didn't think so, but let's put a plant. Lovely. I love that, I think that looks so cute. I think they need a neighbor over here as well. I'm gonna use another one of the record boxes so we can have some height. And then we'll go ahead and put a house on top of that. Beautiful. Just gonna spin it so that the front of the house is showing. Click it on because you're gonna wanna see this on at night for sure. There we go. So, so, so cute. All right, we're heading back up top now because we have a few more things I'd love to put down. Right here, I think I'd like to put another house. If I can find one. Let's place that. So cute. I love these dollhouses. They're so adorable. And then right beside it, I would love to put another camper if I can find it. I know I have one, it's just hiding in here somewhere. There we go. Place item. Perfect, so it looks like it's parked in front. Really, really cute. Tiny Town is so cute this time around. Last time it was just kind of one dimensional, this time it's actually very, very busy and I like that. I'm just gonna add more of a path in the front here. Perfect, that just kind of connects it a little bit. Now I wanna put, if I have enough room, hopefully I do. Somewhere around here I have another, there it is, place item. No, it's gonna tell me there's no room. Let me just empty out my hands. I'm wondering if it'll let me do it on this side. I wanted to put a little garden lantern over here as well. Oh, sh Poppy keeps turning on me and it's making things very, very, very difficult today. There it is, garden lantern. Perfect, that works. Then I was hoping for another house. There we go, right along here gonna turn it again. No, 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 not push it, Poppy. Turn it. There we go. Click it on. Push it over. Build. Nope. Build fence. Not there. Perfect. Kind of makes it its own little separate house. Then I'm gonna wanna put, I'm gonna put a shrub, I think, right here. Plant. Oh, lovely. I think that looks so cute. All right, let's head down a little bit more towards the bottom. What I wanted to kind of do is I wanted to continue this little waterway and connect the two and put a little bridge down. So I think I'll put the bridge first and then work my water towards the bridge. So we're gonna use the word I can't say bridge. There it is. I don't know if I want it, what direction I want it facing in. But I think that works. I think we can make the water move towards the bridge and then it looks like the residents have to walk over it. So let's go ahead and put our waterway in really quickly. And I'm gonna kinda curve it, I think. There we go. I want it to 
Oh, I wish she would stop moving on her own. She's making it very difficult to build anything today. There we go. Nope, don't hit it. All right. That will work for me for right now. I can always change it up later. What I want to do now is kind of connect this one to it as well. So it looks like a functioning bridge is what I'm going for. I'm going to take it down one more. There we go. And then I'm just going to try and bring it over to the best of my abilities. There we go. So there. Now we have the bridge kind of in between the water, and I think that looks really, really cute. Be easier if she'd stop moving, but we're gonna go with it. Of course, there's nowhere to plant there. I should know better than that. I was going for more like here. We can definitely get a tree here. I think that looks lovely. And then maybe right down here, if I have, not sure if I have another, oh, I do have another house, perfect. So let's place another record player, or record box, I should say, spin it around, and then let's go ahead and put a house on that. Beautiful, I'm just gonna spin it so it's forward facing. Pick it on. Awesome. Okay, go ahead and add... Ooh, another mush lamp would look really, really cute right there. And then maybe over in this corner, another street lamp if I have one. There we go. I love it. Tiny Town is shaping up to be exactly that. Quite the tiny little village. I think it looks so cute. I'm super, super happy with the way this is panning out. Going up top. Ooh, I have a... No, I was gonna put jail bars down there, but I think I'll hold off. But I think what I will put right here... I have a, yeah, mush partition I think would look so cute. Yes. Push it back. Just looks pretty. Like I said, the mush stuff looks good really almost anywhere, so... Let's go ahead. Oh, she would stop turning on me. She makes it so difficult today. I have a mush parasol, and they're so pretty. There we go. Adds a little something extra. Let's put a garden lantern right here. Add some color. Oh, I wish you could actually walk over that bridge. That would be amazing. Let's see. Ooh, log stakes would be cute right there. Kind of like fencing. Adorable. I love it. So cute. Just gotta hop over. Go up. feel like we need something in and amongst this area. There we go. I don't think it's gonna let me plant the tree here. No, didn't think so. I was hoping maybe. What I think I will go do is grab a couple flowers. There's a whole bunch right here so we don't have to go far. Let's grab some pink mums. We can add those. Perfect. I love when you don't have to go far. Let's grab some pink mums. Put them right here in this corner. Plant those. So cute. Right in the middle here. Plant some mums. Super, super cute. 
up top looks absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with the way that has turned out. The bottom looks just as beautiful. It's gonna look so pretty at night when it's all lit up. I'm really, really quite excited about it. I'm just seeing if there's anything else I'd like to put up before we go ahead and call that a day. And I'm thinking hedge standy now that I see it, it might look cute right there and I was right it does go ahead and push it back a little bit perfect goes right in with the bridge I love that that looks really really good I have another one I might put it over here I think yes I do perfect gonna push it over as much as I can there lovely I love that that has turned out to be so cute I'm super super happy with the way this is oh the hedge there I can't get back over maybe I'll rethink that and put it over on this side I just want to be able to hop over the water so that I can access everything there we go. Just as cute right there. Serves the same purpose and I can still hop over. Beautiful. Let's put street lamp right here as well. Perfect. Grab our shovel. And I'm hoping if I stand back far enough and turn, it'll let me put a tree in. Yes! There we go. A little tiny tree in front of our mush stuff. I want to try and fill it in as much as I can. Sorry, little bear. I think I'm going to put some fencing over here. that so cute and I think we can call that a day that is so great I think tiny town looks absolutely amazing it is so different from the first time around when we did just a tiny little platform this time it literally is a tiny village you stand here and pan up, you can see the different levels. You can walk around it, and it's going to be so beautiful at night. I'm really, really excited about this. I hope you guys had fun putting this together with me. I had a really good time building it. I'm really excited to see what it's going to look like at night. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and building this with me. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.